Moussaka, how you doing, man? Uh, it starts in whenever I push the button. So I just got to get on here and travel. I think I got everything set up that I want. Using a casting rod. Oh. Charles, how you doing, man? Good to see you guys on here. Hi, Matt. Welcome, buddy. Yeah, I got that frog popper here, and I had planned on using... Let me know if I'm loud or if there's something funny going on, too. So, um, I've also got the trophy frog popper here, too. But I plan on just using the X-Series frog popper most of the time, so it works pretty good. Volume's good? Okay. Usually game volume has been cutting out on this, too, so I don't know if you guys can hear the music or if it's really low, but I can't do anything about it. It's a PlayStation uh, upload thing, so... Let me get on to this channel here. Refresh. So I'm just getting it started on the computer here too. So just bear with me for a minute guys. Alright, there we go. Cove, welcome buddy. <laughs> there, Cove should have a big blue wrench now. Opening beer, the trophy was doing good for a lot of people. Yeah, I know that one's pretty popular in the Spotted Bass Comp. And speaking of opening beer, let's do this in front of the microphone so you can hear it. There. If Tracy would get on there and say something, we could make her a moderator, too. <laughs> Tracy's going to say, hello, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck my life. Wait, no swearing on YouTube. Can I ban? It? I think you can. <laughs> I actually clicked on uh, I clicked on Sabi, and it said that I could put him in timeout, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> it was kind of funny. <laughs> All right, so we ready to do this? I'm not sure it's gonna go well. The scores on here are pretty high. This isn't easy as those PC guys, you know, that they play. So we got 60 is what we need to get to get first. Obviously, nothing less is acceptable, so. 47 greedy sheep, so he's not going to make it. But yeah, some big scores for sure. I can't remember what you ended with, Cove. It wasn't that bad. You did pretty good, man. Thank you, Sabi. Appreciate it, buddy. You want a blue wrench? There you go. William, thank you, man. And thanks, guys, for coming over. I appreciate it. I'm kind of piggybacking off of, of Cove's group, but Cove's a good guy, and I try to be too, so. I drink just as much beer as him. That makes me good, I think. All right, let's get into this. Yeah, I think we're ready. <laughs> I got 68% of my tablet that I'm looking at for chat, so. Honorary Scotsman.
<laughs> Tracy's going to drink one of my last of the beers that I have. Had a girl. Okay. Let's get it on. Missed bites. That was a pickerel too, dang it. Cove, this is going to be hard actually looking at chat and fishing. I should have put the chat up on the screen, but I decided not to, so it was a better picture. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> FML. Let's see if we twitch these things more, if we can annoy them. Get some pickles going on here. Come on, pickles. We get rain like 360 days out of the year. And s snow, about four of it. And sun, one day. I missed the only one fish that was here. Now he's gone. What the hell happened? I need these pickers. I need to make a jar of pickles here. Not as easy as it looks. Cope made it look too easy. Now all the pressure's on me. This is horrible. And Sabi. You guys, quit being so good. Dill pickerels, you darn right. Get them, DK. Don't sell anything, DK. You can release some fish, that's about it. Well, it's starting out slow here. I think the weather over in Scotland and Ireland is darn similar to what we get here. We were just in Ireland last spring in Galway, and it was exact to what we left when we went and traveled. It was beautiful. I hate little bitch bass. 
Hopefully that was a bass. I pretend it was. Wasn't worth the hundred million you paid for it, huh, Cove? Oh, another bite. Ah, oh, come on. That was a bass. Well, if I keep missing fish, this isn't going to turn out well. Maybe I need to drink some more beer. Lots of bowfin tied. <laughs> Falcon bowfin. So Charles, you have a PS4 controller. I can actually reel and twitch with one hand and drink a beer in the other which I'm not I haven't done yet but I'm about to start doing that it's pretty funny if I put it in my left hand I can hold down the R2 button and then with my index finger I can hit the twitch button I can even cast it's kind of miraculous what you can do when you want a beer in your mouth here we go alright one hand in it There we go. Holy shit, a fish. Be a good one now. Oh, stinking bass. <laughs> Showing off. Hey, man. What a man will do for a drink of beer. <laughs> Can do it easier with a mouse, I know. This game looks a lot smoother with a with a PC setup too. But I got a PS4 and a pretty shitty computer, so this is what I get. Hopefully the game looks okay and the sounds okay. I uh, I went to a mid 720, I think it was 720p setup. So hopefully it doesn't lag a whole bunch. If I don't qualify tonight, tomorrow's going to be a pain in the ass. I have no idea. I know one spot at Mudwater. Okay, thanks, guys. Another one, really? On the upswing? Stop it, gang. Or did you mean I look good, Cove? I don't even have a camera. <laughs> I should get a camera though. I wonder if you could hook up a GoPro to this. 
be worth investing in. Yeah, that's the only spot I know, Charles. Where the sticks are for the for the trophy grass pickerel. That's the only spot I know. Hey, look, it's a pickle. All right. Guess we'll keep it. We'll have to do some practice then, Sabi. I'll see you tomorrow and we'll uh, we'll join up at Mudwater. No more practice. <laughs> you don't want to do barbell practice on the fisherman? That's really fun. <laughs> Mud water, what a stupid place. At the end of the competition, walking out of there with 30 pounds of fish, maybe, if you're lucky. Oh, another one swam away, damn it. Get good, Brian. Fuck off. <laughs> Cove, I heard your Scottish accent when you wrote that. <laughs> it just comes through. Catfish haven up the sides, huh, Moose? Nice, guys. I'll have to check that out. It's just hard to fill up a 660 pound net at mud water. That's my issue with it. You can't make any money. And catfish and bowfin don't pay well. It's too late to go buy the DLC. I need some RNG going on here. A little low on cash, though. Oh, fucking buy you. Oh, really? Get on there. Get in my net now. Oh, you little bass. Get out of my net. Get off here. Oh, you know what? I caught a trophy spotted bass. I probably could have went down to the other spot. Ooh, that's a good one. Fucking bowfin, I bet. Oh, yeah, it's tugging hard. I 
I got a gar on here. <sighs> Shoot. Okay. Let's get some tobacco. Good old tobacco. One hand fish for a second. I need to drink whiskey when I'm on stream. It's a little less uh, less drinking, more impact. Charles and Cove have access to the best stuff you can get. Easy Carlo, 7.6 uni chain. Wow, that's a big one. Hey, there's code man 7825 maybe he knows the code I should friend him This isn't working out here. Okay, let's go over here. Yeah, I know you got some nice scotch over there. And uh, I'm a Kentucky bourbon fan, so. I'll take some Maker's Mark any day. <laughs> DK, we know you drink anything that's put in front of you. Don't sell anything. It's fun to hear Cove say don't sell anything, so I don't do it as well. But I can say, hello guys. This is KP Shimino. <laughs> Wild turkey. Ugh. Only on Thanksgiving, Cove. When you're all alone. Oh, you little bastard. Tough to see him coming up out of these weeds. Uh, let's go somewhere else. Fireball, that shit's sweet, man. It's kind of like that brown sugar bourbon. I had that one time. Oh my gosh, it tastes good. And it's just sweet as hell. And you have a few of them in your 
you're toast, man. I like the real stuff. Fish on! Oop. Almost ripped his lips off. Oh, bass. Here, uni, uni, uni. Oh, it's a fish. It's a little guy. Oh, isn't he cute? Wow. Okay. I'll try over here then. I like some scotch whiskeys, but a lot of them are smoky. I like the less smoky ones. It's either smoky or fruity. That's kind of the flavors you get out of them. But they're good for sipping on. Fuck. Hey, it's a fish. I think this is going to be a chain pickerel trophy. Slick Willie got a chain pickerel uni. Oh, Bowfin, are you kidding me? Come on. Get good, Brian. Get good. Okay. Crap. Certainly worked out a lot better in practice than it is here. Why does that always happen to me? Stop being cheap on the RNG. <laughs> I'd like some of that right now. What if they have an RNG beer? That would be cool. Did you drink your RNG today? You sure did. Ah, you'll be fine then. Yeah, how are you guys getting on? Charles, are you playing? I know DK is. Stream from Steam. Is that what you're going to call your stream? Streaming from Steam. Babies, come on.
Kov had like 30 pounds at this point, didn't he? <laughs> That's being a little rough on me right now. Tomorrow I get my new Predator, so maybe I will stream from Steam. What the hell is a Predator? All I know is the Predator boat pack that was in the Fisherman. Come here. Get in my net. Trophy. Okay. Cove, I didn't buy one, no. Yeah, more trophies, come on. Don't be cheap, game. Give me the good fish. Huh? I don't know. It said tick, tick, tick. Oh. Huh? Uh. Hey. Might be all right. Yeah, 4.2 pounds. That'll work. Now I'm cooking with gas, huh, Charles? That was a cool video, man. I liked it. And your mom giggling in the background. That was funny, man. That tickled me. I have yet to check out the other ones, though. I just watched Cooking with Gas 1. So I'll have to check out your other videos soon. Maybe later tonight. See, I need to get a PC so I can get some free stuff. Yes, Matt, thank you. <laughs> Glad somebody brought that up. Here, you need it. Baby Shark actually did really well at the end. He was sucking ass in the beginning of it, and then he started coming on at the end and caught quite a few unis at the end, so he ended up in fifth. Just some funny looking trees, man. Big old fat bottoms on them. Certainly don't look like that around here, but our trees don't grow in water around here either. So, never been to Louisiana, I have no clue what they look like. Aren't they funny looking though? Fat bottom trees. Sporty bottom.
This spot isn't working too well. Cypress trees. I'm pretty good with the trees around here. I worked for the local utility in electrical engineering and I handled the the tree trimming program and got pretty accustomed to all the trees that we've got around here. Got a bunch of willows and firs and cedars, but nothing looking like this. That's funny looking stuff. Madrone, we got a bunch of madrone. Oh, this isn't working. Okay. Next spot. Uh, yeah, we do have Sasquatch. He's all over the place, man. <laughs> Anywhere from Oregon to, uh, to... I don't know if it's been spotted in Alaska, but... He's definitely been spotted up here. He eats a lot of uh, Jack Link's jerky, so if you ever want to trap him, that's what you put out. Jack Link's jerky. Pulls him in every time. He'll kick your ass, though. He's pretty tough. He gets into my beer, I'll have to pull out that 300 Weatherby I got. Beer and jerky go well together, so. Fuck, I can't catch a goddamn fish. More beer. I got the beer RNG. Hey, I can reel and drink beer at the same time. This is a lot easier. I don't have to pop the popper. <sighs> All right. What do we got? Okay. Little pecker pickerel. Oh, come on. Here, uni, uni, uni. <laughs> Betty's great at rebounds. <laughs> Usaka. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> he was pretty good about doing double flip dunks during uh, intermissions. <laughs> uh, it's funny. That was our mascot. I forgot about that. We haven't had the supersonics in a while. Since Oklahoma stole them. Musak, I'll probably do some hunting next week if you uh, want to come watch the stream. I figure I'll wait till these tournaments are done. Uh-oh, I cast that too far. Maybe that'll help my RNG. Rattle the bushes. Agitate the fish. Where's the big ones? Wow. 234th place. That's not bad. 
I'm right below the top five. It says there on the left. Rankings? It says I'm right there below them. You got three black buck diamonds? Nice, buddy. They're probably one of the easiest diamond in the game, but, you know, it's still a diamond. And apparently Park Fernando, Parquet Fernando is the best place for diamonds, so. I've got some tips for you guys. I mean, I've, I've got my way of tracking them and my way of sneaking and, and doing stuff. I do run around a little bit, but running and hunting to me is shouldn't be in the same sentence, so. These guys that do it all the time, I guess that's how you you win in the video game, but it's not as fun. I like to creep. It makes me feel more stealthy and like I'm really hunting. Yeah, you got to keep your eye out for those Harlequin ducks in Park Fernando. That's a good place for them. I mean, obviously the Harlequin are only there, but that's a good place to get a diamond. And I haven't got one yet. I got a couple troll diamonds, but not a real one. All right, I gotta do something different here. <laughs> yeah, Cove, it actually speeds up the, the tracking that I go through because it takes me a minute to figure out where the hell they went, you know? I mean, so, and sometimes the tracks disappear. When you get a diamond animal, sometimes the tracks are harder to find. They don't show up till later. I mean, they, they're farther apart. There's just a lot of bullshit that you got to go through, so I try to speed you up through that. And in the end, show you how I got it um, with a little picture. You know, go to the map show you the location I was at so I haven't hunted in a while actually it's been a week since I've hunted eh, maybe four days five days something like that but I've been practicing for this I got some videos planned for Call of the Wild, though, on how I use tents, um, what loadouts I take to each one, what I would use if I didn't have DLCs, that type of thing. So, I plan on doing a few. I just haven't got around to it. Thanks, Gove. You got a legendary red deer on your map, huh? Hey, Musaka, do you want to do multiplayer? <laughs> A lot of these guys that stream Call of the Wild, from what I understand, you can go to somebody's um, map. Like if I went to your map, Musaka, and I could shoot that diamond red deer, and when you went back to single player, it would still be there for you. So I imagine that's how they stack up quite a few diamonds, too. You get your buddies to help you make videos, and you look good getting all those diamonds. Hackers, anyway, I tell you. Yeah, you need to figure out where he's drinking and when he's drinking. And how he travels to and from. So if you follow his tracks to it, or if you see him leaving from it, if you just get onto him, you'll figure it out. You'll find out where he goes. But the easiest way is just finding him around that drink zone. Don't all F4. <laughs> oh, look at that. Not even big enough to keep. Oh, boy. I did a lot better than this at practice.
They said it was a glitch, huh? I had to concentrate for that snag. Gosh, come on. <laughs> oh, little fella. Oh, I'll show you on one of my streams coming up, Moose. The tracks disappear. There'll be a herd of animals, a herd of uh, elk on one side, and you know how big elk herds get. They're like that in real life, too, but you'll have 20 animals on one side of the lake. I'll shoot a level four, shoot him well. He'll die, run off, you know, whatever direction. And you go over there, and there's no tracks, no blood, no nothing. So you have to run around that whole uh, purple hunting pressure circle to figure out, you know, where he went and if you're in trees or something you won't know where he went you know he just runs off and it's a pain in the ass man you spend you know 10 real life minutes searching for this darn thing because the tracks disappeared but at least his body glows when you get close to him so you haven't caught one charles You got this, buddy. I do. I've got all the maps, Moose. I'm almost done with all the missions on Quattro. Uh, one of them glitched out on me, though. Baden's Folly, I think is what it's called. It's like the last of Baden's missions. And there's a wolf that, like, attacks somebody, and you have to, he comes up growling, pissed off at you, and then he runs away. And so I was chasing him, and the game started lagging real bad because of all the tracks. And, it, it like, it got real bad. And so I exited the game and figured I could come back, you know, and he would show up the next night. Didn't happen. So now I can't get that son of a bitch. But if I see him, he's going to get it. I did get a couple diamonds there, Moose. I got a diamond Basit and a diamond Southeastern Ibex. I got a diamond Basit like two hours into playing the game when it came out. Uh-oh. Bowfin or pickerel? Come on, uni chain pickerel. Known issue? Okay, you got that too, huh? Hey, look at this. Boom. Nailed it. Nailed that guy. This guy said nice one, but I don't want to answer him because I'm fishing. What is he doing? He's here to chat, tell everybody a nice one. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Five more. No shit. Oh, wait. I got to exit. I think if I exit the game, that it ends my stream here on PS4. So I've done it in Twitch where I had a glitch and had to exit. And it ends the stream. Kind of sucks. That's what you get for a $400 PS4 rather than a $2,000 PC. Yeah, don't do it on PS4, I know. I don't really like hunting Quattro Kalinas, uh, Moose. It's kind of, you know, it's all goats and sheep. And then animals that we already have. 
you know, the roe deer, the red deer, the boar, the rabbit, the wolves. I mean, they're a different wolf, but. And the drinking times for it. I mean, I, I'm focused on drinking times because they're easy to find around lakes. You know, you figure out what lake an animal's drinking at. And you can hunt that time. If you go to Park Fernando, I mean, you can hunt all day and night, any hour, and something's drinking. At Quattro Colinas, the drink times are just they are just not as good. I mean, there's a big dead time between 11, I think it's 11 a.m. Oh, shit, I cast before again. I'm talking. Um, 11 a.m. and to like 7 p.m. or something. I don't have it memorized, but I just hate that big dead space. Layton's good. I do have uh, Africa. That one's actually the best for the drink times. It's so spread out. and A couple animals drink at the same time, so it's cool. Jim Spock and Springbok drink at the same time. Wildebeest and... Uh, I think Water Buffalo... Kudu right after that. God, I'm missing fish. I don't know how Cove and Sabi do it. Chatting and fishing. This isn't easy. Get my net, dude. Trophy. Okay. One of the, the dead in the midday, yeah. This one can be tough to fish for uh, for uniques, or at least it used to be. The new bite system is different though, Moose, if you haven't played this in a while. You can catch uniques almost any time now, but you just get less fish overall. These poppers are killing me. Come on. Hunting in Scotland. I'm curious how that roe deer is. If it's similar to the deer that we get. Well, my tablet decided to shut down, so I can't see chat for right now. Hold on one second, guys. Oh. No, I'm good. Thank you, Tracy. So give me one minute, guys. I'm going to head to the men's room. I'm actually already in here, so just one minute, please.
right, I'm back. Come on, pick roll. Here, uni, uni, uni. God, they're probably, if I could catch these frickin' fish that are biting my popper, that's the trick, isn't it? Up to 183rd place. That's pretty good. That's where I saw myself finishing anyway. Two hundred and seventy third. <laughs> You're getting there, Charles. You're not in last. You're gaining on me, buddy. Jordan, how you doing, man? Thanks for dropping in. How DK is doing? He didn't fall asleep. YouTube and Twitch, how do I feel about it? Well, I actually like the freedom that Twitch offers. And I know uh, from watching you that I prefer, as a, uh, a viewer, to watch YouTube. But as a streamer, Twitch is better to me. And streaming is definitely different than just making videos or something else. Yeah, they have, Jordan. I've had some pretty good support so far. It's cool. I appreciate Cove, and I appreciate all you guys being here. It's fun to video game and chat, so it's been great. Video game, chat, and drink beer. What can be wrong with that, you know?
Cove is a legend. Cove, you're a legend. Got it. Come on, fish. He's the best streamer out there for sure. I have a 300 in the game, Moose, and a 300 in real life. It was my granddad's who got it from my great uncle who owed him money. And then it was handed down to my dad who hunted with it. And then I've got it now since my dad has passed away and I've hunted with it. And it's about $3 a shot. So when you go out and test it, it's uh. You don't want to fire off too many, if you know what I mean. You take that and the 22. <laughs> 22 for fun and popping shots and the 300 to get it sighted and then you're done. Yeah, there's no missing with it though. Nice Leopold scope on it. Shoot straight as shit too. All right, give me a minute. I'm going to look at chat, take a drink of beer. Uh, 300 is loud, Moose, and it bucks pretty hard. I've got a, a pad on there. I think it's probably an inch and a half thick keeps it from breaking your shoulder the barrel on it straight as can be man i had it uh i took it to a gunsmith to clean it up a bit for me and he said it was the straightest one that he'd seen he bore sighted it got it close and then i took it out and sighted it in but yeah it's a doozy you know when you shoot it and the day after I probably got 20 guns though. So that one's only if I'm for real hunting. I will take deer with it. You know, it's, it doesn't gain integrity on Call of the Wild, but in real life, you knock a deer down and you're done. It's not maimed. It's not. Uh, oh, I'm casting like the other spot. Uh, it, it's just. It's a dead animal, so. That's what you're going for. A couple more trophies, and if we could find a uni should be moving right now but yeah that's a thing cove Musaka, if you're on Twitch, those guys from Expansive Worlds stream every Tuesday. They were on this morning, I think, at like 7 a.m. I know you've said you've, been, you've chatted with them before, but I know at 7 a.m. on Twitch they're here, so it's pretty cool.
There's a lot of FP stuff on there. Everyone's streaming on Twitch. Tons of Call of the Wild, and it's just figuring out the app. I've got the app on my Android, so I don't know if you use a laptop or a PC or or a tablet to watch streamers, but you download that Twitch app. There's some learning to do, but it's pretty cool. Okay. 149th place, Charles. I'm running away with it. It's worth it, Moose. If you check out stuff on Twitch, there's a lot of content on there. It's pretty cool. And some of the guys that I watch on YouTube stream over there. Flinner and Zaggy DK and Jaxie Beard. I don't know about Fooster. I just started subscribing to him and, and following him, so I don't know actually when he streams, but... And that Cove guy is over there, too, on Twitch, so you don't want to miss out on him. He streamed this morning. Two hundred and sixty nine with three trophies. Get after it, Charles. Show him who's boss, man. Gosh, I'm halfway through and I don't have a unique yet. Not good. And I missed DK if he said anything on how he's doing on his score. Hunter DD three to three. I actually subscribed to him and I, I couldn't handle it, so I unsubscribed. <laughs> He's kind of a goofy dude. Mr. Brady, thank you, brother. I appreciate it. I think Mr. Brady was my first subscriber. I was like, what's he doing? <laughs> I came into his channel and was listening to him and watching him stream. And all of a sudden I had a subscriber. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> I'm new to YouTube. I don't even know what a subscriber is. Thanks for dropping in, though. I appreciate it. Yeah, Didi puts a lot of time into it. He is good. He's just kind of funny. Yeah, that's how I feel, Cove. I mean, we're all weird in our own way, I guess, but... We're glad to have you, Jordan. You can always watch Cove stream later. Although watching it, uh, you know, when it's not live kind of sucks because I always hit the comment button. I want to chat, and it's not live, dude. So what are you doing hitting the, 
the chat button. <laughs> it's just habit. I want to say shit and I can't. Is that true? I don't know anything about a hockey team coming up here. I've went to our semi-pro team, the Seattle Thunderbirds. I've went and watched them. They're kicking the ass. I mean, just as hockey is anyway, but. We've got the Vancouver Canucks. That's not too far from me. I'm just a boat ride away from Vancouver, Canada, so Victoria. Is the city. I mean, I can be down at the... I can take my boat and be out at the boat launch in five minutes. That's hooking it up and everything, and I can be across the... the water soon, so... It's a 45-minute ride. I'm actually west of Seattle a couple hours. I'm up on the little corner peninsula. There went my big fish. All right, let's try another spot. No, we're not there. Right there, perfect. Right where I wanted it in that bush. I should put a marker there. Yes, Sabi. Please. <laughs> Kind of sad. I haven't gotten a uni yet. I had a good day of practice, too. <laughs> what, Tracy? What are you laughing at? <laughs> Cove, Tracy's laughing at you. <laughs> Sleepless. <laughs> Another beautiful bass. Sorry, don't want you. Okay. I know where the uni pickerel are. It's frustrating. I just can't get one. The game hates me. Oh, wrong one. Cove should come out this way someday. He'd love it. 
weather's similar to home. It rains here more than it snows for sure. A lot of rain. But it's beautiful. Just like I know the Ireland and I'm sure Scotland is. Right on the ocean, you got your salt water, you got beautiful lakes around here also. I mean, I can drive 15 minutes and be at a beautiful lake. And did I mention it rains? Yeah. <laughs> it rains in Seattle. We actually have like a little banana belt or whatever they call it around here, a little rain shadow where it doesn't rain that much um, as it does areas around us. We get like 36 inches a year, but it seems like it's just constantly drizzling. So as far as days out of the year that it's raining, it's a lot. The amount of rainfall we get isn't that much. I could drive an hour west and it's like 120 inches a year and we only get like 35 so we got some bass up here in the lakes that I fish in a lot of trout but we do have some bass they're just not very big And bluegill, I've caught quite a few bluegill. Bowfin? Is it a largemouth bass? Is it a uni chain pickerel? Ah, it's a chain. Alrighty. Take that. 38 pounds, huh? Trying to hold it together. <laughs> Cove. Keep it together, brother. <laughs> it's late for you, man. If you got a bail, I understand. I appreciate you hanging out. Thank you. Big old flatheads, huh? Nice. Shit. Over, are you creeping on DK in the game or what? Thank you, Charles. Be nice if I could get about five more of them, but <laughs> trying to. <laughs> Do 
we've got some great fishing out here too guys a couple hours from me and i i know that guys real close to me actually have gone tuna fishing but a couple hours from me you go down south a little bit and man there's some good tuna fishing down there albacore and we've got great salmon fishing right out where i'm at so it takes me five minutes to get to the dock and we're out on the water man we got wonderful dungeness crab fabulous to eat and the lakes here have some pretty good trout in them too so a lot of fun rainbow trout cutthroat trout and some unique uh landlocked trout we got some kokanee um i can't think of the name that we have that's a special one but we've got a little bit of salt water and fresh water fishing so it's cool I can go out here, you know, like I said, five minutes, I can go down to the water and go fishing. And I can turn around and go 30 minutes up the hill, and I'm a mile up, and there's snow. You can go skiing in the same day. It's pretty cool. We do have steelheads, too. It just depends on the time of year. The steelhead run actually right now is pretty good, I bet. I've never fished for steelhead. I've always done salmon. Silvers and the kings, the Chinook, we call them kings here. But, and silvers are coho salmon. They're silver. When they run out in the water, they're just bright chrome silver. They're beautiful. And then when they start head upstream, they turn color. Same as the sockeye and the chum. A lot of the funny looking fish that you see up in Kanik in the game. Oh, come on, leg. Wow. Oh, game's getting leggy. Well, maybe the uni chain's real close to me. I don't have to cast far. There is walleye here down at the Columbia River, which is between here and Oregon. But I've never fished for walleye. No pike here. 11 pound king puts on a fight, man. It's a lot of fun. Change spot? Okay. Sorry, I'm getting involved with chat and just fishing away. Thank you, Cove. Try this one again. See if we can't get a uni bow in. Oh, we got halibut, too. I forgot to mention that. And cod. God, I love fishing for those. Those are actually my favorite to eat. So, The salmon fight hard, and they're tougher to catch. And the halibut and cod, you know, they get pretty big, and they're more like bringing up dead weight. But, God, that's good eating fish. I know, Cove. I'm supposed to be fishing. <laughs> I suck at this game. Get good, Brian. Hit line at caught us what you fish for. Nice. Yeah, we get ling cod and uh, true cod, they call it. Uh-oh, we got a big fish here. I don't know what to do. Somebody call ashes to ashes. I need help. The 
<laughs> it's definitely not easy, Cove. So I'm sitting in a recliner, in case you guys are wondering. Wow, this one's pulling line. And uh, I'm looking at my 42-inch TV, playing on the PlayStation. And on the left of me is the tablet sitting on the arm. So I actually have to look over to the left a little bit. Not my wife, so... <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I have to look over to the left to check out the tablet that I'm I'm using. <laughs> this has got to be a bowfin. Ah, uh, fucking bowfin. Fish on, I could put the controller in my left hand, and beer in my right. Thank you. You know, I thought I was good at this game until I started streaming. Although I was farming uh, Weeping Willow pretty good. This tournament's just handing me crap. It's a pick roll. We got a pickle here. Little fella. <laughs> yeah. This will be saved permanently. <laughs> it's going down in my permanent record. That looked like a pick roll too, damn it. Every little mistake I make. Get out of here, bass. All right. You know, there is a competition for that, Charles. Spotted bass comp. You'd probably catch all chain pick roll, though, so... No matter how many times they left and came back. <laughs> so I wonder what I need to make it. What, four more unis, you think, or three?
Here, uni uni. Come on. Fuck. And I miss it. Brook Trout, huh? What about Blake Sprout? <laughs> Sorry, that was an ongoing joke in Phil Cool's channel with dysfunctional Blake Sprout. Wow. <sighs> Coney's a Cove <laughs> Covate's accent is a uni. Starting to talk like him though. Stumbling. Get the beers in you and you try to stream and you can't even talk. Cove has a great accent. We put him on the loudspeakers here when we're when we're watching his stream, so it's awesome to hear him. <laughs> pace myself I'm fine I'm fine everything's fine oh shit now it's not I just released the wrong fish that's alright we need a unique that one don't matter huh <laughs> I don't know about an accent in seven different languages. That'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Can he do a crocodile Dundee accent? That would be the challenge for Sabi, I think. That's not a knife. This is a knife. Or hello, guys. We need to hear him say hello, guys. I bet you he could do that one, though. <laughs> Certainly not getting enough unis here, am I? Crap. <laughs> Should have done this on Twitch. Then it would just go away after 14 days and I'd never have to look at it again. This would be a thing of the past. Just a memory. A bad one. Maybe I should put some large cut bait on and go see if I can get some trophy gar. What do you think? Might as well farm. Fill my net with 10 of those.
Come on. Uh, really? Go to pop it and a fish wants to bite it at the same time. That's not a pike. This is a pike. <laughs> oh, Charles. You always kill me, man. <laughs> I got a party stream with you sometime. That's not a pike. This is a pike. <laughs> uh, beers are kicking in, maybe. I don't know what's going on here. Charles is kicking in. Oh, come on. Be a good fish. Bowfin or pike? You haven't exited and re-entered enough yet, Charles. You need to try that. See if that helps you. Oh, it's a fucking largemouth bass. <laughs> bofin. <laughs> it's a falcon bofin. I feel like I've missed too many bites. Like maybe I'd have had unis if I didn't miss those bites. You never know, right? But you always feel like that. Using a popper, it's just torture. All the missed bites, man. So maybe this weekend, Charles, if you're not doing anything, if I see you on the game or something, or if we see each other in Cove stream, maybe I'll jump on Twitch and do a stream and then add you in the party. And William also. I don't know if William's still here, but I've got him as a PS4 friend, so we can get William Sinclair in here. And Moose. Moose can come fish with us. I don't know if he's got a headset and a mic. But we'll have a hell of a time. Ah, oh, 40 pounds. Come on. And Jordan's my friend, Jordan. We could all do a party stream. Sobby's my friend. You're not good at the game. That doesn't matter. We're all here to have fun, man, and help each other. So you're always welcome. If I'm playing and you want to chat or you want to jump into the lake that I'm on, do it.
I wish I could speak more to Sabi, but the amount of beer I drink, I don't speak very good English either, so let alone other languages. Are you on Fisherman Jordan? Yeah. Come on. <sighs> wow. Not having much luck with the pickerel or this popper. Maybe I'll change lures if I go to the other spot and try a casting spoon or something. Shitty cast there. Subnautica theme, nice. DK, how'd you get on, man? Get the top. All right, Cove. Thanks for hanging out, brother. I appreciate it a lot, dude. You got me streaming. It's kind of fun. It's going to be addicting. But I appreciate everything you do, man. Hey, you have a good night. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow at some point. And don't make any noise when you go into the bedroom. Don't wake up the old lady. She'll kick your ass. They're bull troopers, man. 3.30 in the morning. I know it's a thing in Europe to stay up late, but damn. <laughs> I appreciate you, Cove, man. Yeah, it's only 7.30. I'm only on beer three, so... It's party time, yeah. This is what we're doing. <laughs> oh, God, it's snowing hard outside, too. 
I'm looking out my window. It is snowing bad. 9.30 for DK. DK gets up early, too. DK, how's that hand, anyway? That heal up okay for you? You get feeling back in those fingers? Midnight. Jordan, are you at a, on a boat in the middle of the Atlantic or what? <laughs> Where is it midnight? It's healing all right. Good for you, buddy. 9.30 in Alabama. One of my best friends is from Alabama. His family. Good folks, man. They live up here now, but good folks. You sleep five to six hours, Sabi? Really? When I wake up, you're on the game. When I go to sleep, you're on the game. <laughs> I'm not sure you sleep, buddy. Oh, come on. Work with me here, uni. Oh. I think Sabi fishes in his sleep. I don't think he actually sleeps. Gotcha that time, you little bastard. Little fella. Well, guys, I wish I'd show you how to win a little bit better, but it's not working out for me. I had almost 44 pounds of fish in practice, and I thought it was pretty good. But now that I'm looking at these scores, 44 pounds isn't all that great. And I can't even get it right now. So back to the beer. <laughs> What's the world coming to? Well, I tell you, it's not the first time we've had snow here. When I was a kid, I remember a bunch of snow. We had some major snow days, like feet. I know DK is probably laughing. You had a foot of snow, which isn't a big deal in Minnesota, but here it's actually a big deal. And we had a couple feet of snow, you know, in like 1996. It hit bad. And we're going to get a foot of snow, I think, uh, by the time I wake up in the morning. So, Yeah, Jordan's up north, northeast, so yeah. Snow's nothing there either. Not too far from DK, probably. A little up and over.
here, uni, 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 uni. Come on, baby. Bass. That bird just tried to attack me, I swear. <laughs> Unique everything but pickerel. <laughs> Come on, Charles. We should have bought the DLC, Charles. What's wrong with us? I think it was that fancy outfit Cove was wearing. I'm sure of it. Southern Minnesota, huh? I was in Minnesota probably 15 years ago. A contractor for Excel Energy. And uh, I walked on my first frozen lake. That was pretty cool. Another trophy. I think there was six inches of solid ice over the lake. I was right outside of uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Doing power line inspections. So I don't know how far you are from there, DK, but uh, it was freaking cold, man. I had snot sickles. My nose would run and you'd go outside and it'd be instant fucking frozen snot sickles. I heard there's a lot of bugs there too though like during the summer if you go to those lakes and try to fish lots of skeeters I've heard there's a lot of similarities between Maine and where I'm at as far as the you know, you got the ocean on one side, you got lakes. Similar weather. You guys got it pretty pretty much colder and hotter though. Whereas here it gets up to sixty five, seventy in the summer. You know, some days higher, but and then in the winter we're usually about thirty five. You don't get too much snow. About three hours from you. Reckless, how are you, brother? Thanks for dropping in, man. Baby shark, do 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 do. Hey, reckless, don't look at my the the poundage I've got here. RNG has not been with me, man. <laughs> Appreciate you dropping in, though. It's pretty good to see that you got up there, fifth place. That was good. How'd you get on in the second one? Sabi, thanks, man. Have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Maybe we'll practice at Missouri a little bit. Or Mudwater. Oh, I got you figured out, Rick. <laughs> Yeah, I knew you did the name change.
How'd you do in the tourney, though? I know you you got fifth on the one. I don't know what you're at now. You might have dropped down a bit. But you're definitely going to qualify in that one. Thirteenth, release the fish. Nice. Yeah, that's good of you. Release the fish and let somebody else get in there. You had a pretty solid run on both, though. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm struggling, man. I haven't caught, I, you know, I've got a couple of unis, but it's been rough. I've had a lot of missed, you know, missed bites. Fishing with the popper over the reeds, it's hard to see them when they come at you like that right there. I mean, that's exactly it. Couldn't see them coming up and kind of antagonizing, missing them. But I got a beer and. some people to chat with so that's good life's not too bad uh, I sing in the shower moose that's about all the singing I do <laughs> No, I, you know, I, I haven't sung in choir. Or I just sing some Metallica songs when I've got them jamming or something, but I don't sing a lot. Metallica, you darn right, man. I was 11 years old and I bought my first Metallica album. It's actually a tape. And I rocked that thing in my Walkman. Thought I was pretty cool. I had a mullet. What kid didn't have a mullet, you know? Back in the 80s. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> That's the type of music I listen to for the most part. But I listen to all, all kinds of stuff, man. Baby Shark had a bunch of songs on his stream that I knew, obviously. I was listening to some Tupac and uh, stuff that he was playing. I knew them all. I know rap music. I know country music. I listen to a lot of different stuff. Classical music. There's nothing I really don't like. Yeah, I like country for sure. My lady doesn't like country as much, but. Oh, you little fucker. Yeah, they've got some of the best stuff, man. Metallica, it's so hard to play on a guitar, but, you know, it's hard to play on any instrument. And I actually have a... Uh, picking on Metallica and picking on Nickelback, where these bluegrass bands do the, the songs, the covers of the songs, but they do it in bluegrass. It's pretty cool. It's fun. Well, we're going to change spots one more time and end our failure for qualifying over here. Good night, DK. Thanks for dropping in, brother.
I know a lot of you guys are here because of Cove, but I appreciate it for sure. What do we got here? The line's clicking finally. No, I don't play guitar. I'm horrible with music, man. I just like it. It's my, you know, I'll go out and watch live bands and stuff and enjoy it. Headbang a little bit. But no, I don't play. Oh, this is a bow fin, isn't it? Get the fuck out of here, Bowfin. I've actually, I used to play rock band in stupid games like that, but Rocksmith, you're talking about serious guitar playing. I get it. I like a lot of heavy metal songs and stuff. I just like music in general. You know, I've got a broad range. The electronic stuff I don't really get into. It's a little bit fast for me. And... But I listen to a lot of stuff. If it's got a groove, I'll dance to it, man. I saw you had something, Moose. When I was looking at your profile, you had a game, Rocksmith or something. I can't remember what it was that I saw, but I saw that you had something. Queen Strike's good. Between my lady and I, we have like 500 albums, so <laughs> we get a lot of stuff. Picking on Metallica? Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it, Charles? Picking on Nickelback's real good, dude. If you don't have that one, Charles, I think it's better. I'll have to look for that tattoo in your videos, buddy. Tracy, you should put in picking on Nickelback on the in the DVD player, and then turn the stereo onto the DVD, and we can play it for the last second here. Is is it in the case down there? Oh, I thought it was in the box. Yeah, she is, Moose. It's my BFF Tracy, she's cray cray. Well, guys, it didn't work out here for the qualifier. So we'll be doing mud water tomorrow, unfortunately. But I'll probably stream tomorrow night at about the same time when Cove is done. Watch Sabi stream, watch Cove stream, and then I'll, I'll hop on here. So if you guys want to join tomorrow, that'd be cool. If not, it's up to you. Life happens, but I'll be streaming here on YouTube, so. I know all the slang. I don't know. I know some slang. If it's got bad words in it, I know most of it. <laughs> Tracy's from Tennessee, right out of Memphis. 
so eh, no reason to cast this one. Well, guys, that's it, huh? 79th place. I'll try to get good between now and tomorrow, so. <laughs> Won't embarrass myself too bad. But I think coming in the stream, doesn't sound like we're going to get the music playing for you, but maybe tomorrow I'll play some in the background and we can listen to Picking on Nickelback for a little bit. But I appreciate you guys being here. It's pretty cool. Top 10, all unis? Yeah, I don't know. That's a lot of unis, man. And for 60 pounds, it's definitely... You're definitely looking at a lot of unis there. So who do we got on here that we know? Anybody? Dysfunctional. What? Dysfunctional made it. Good night, Jordan. Thanks for stopping in, man. Yeah, 60 pounds is nuts. Dysfunctional, I'll be, or, uh, dysfunctional. Jordan, I'll be on tomorrow, so if you want to stop in, at least go to Cove Stream. I'll be there watching him at 3 o'clock my time, so. But, yeah, thanks, guys, for hanging out. And everyone have a good night. I appreciate you. And we'll do this again soon. So That's me. Take it easy, guys. We'll see you next time.